I think I'll phone my brother and see if he'll come down and run that tractor because I don't like doing it by myself. How are you? I was trying to cut a tree down by the shed there. I was wondering if you can come down and run the tractor for five minutes. Just so I, I could do it myself, but I don't know if a thing would go bad. So are you, doing, are you doing anything for five minutes? Yeah, I got the rope up. It's already up there. I'm just going to hook it on. And I want to, I want, okay, I'll, I'll go get it hooked up. I'll get back. I'm going to put that, uh, we got to make a tractor. We're in this deep snow, so I'll probably get stuck. So I'm going to unhook this and make a little trailer. What kind of tree is it? Ash. They're all dead. Thank China. See that tree's got to lean that way. It'll go into the shed if you're not if you don't pull it. So I'm hoping it'll drop right down here. I'm gonna notch it in this far corner on the left so it doesn't go over that way. All the limbs are on the one side. That'll give it weight to pull to the left too. Right in the, right into the shed or something. And you can tell. Oh yeah, it'll hit it if you if you notch it. It'll go right in, it'll go right back that way. But I'm hoping hoping you can pull her. So I'm just gonna notch it and then on the right side here. Yep. And then uh, I'll do the cutting and he'll do the. Gotta watch them dead limbs too, they might come down and get you in the head and their vibration, all these limbs fly everywhere, they're all dead as shit. Yeah. So I'll just do this here. Now the cleanup starts. Look at that! Look at the mess of shit there to clean up, huh? Just everywhere. I don't know. Should take the other one down too. Ah, I guess so. I'll just shut it off there. I might come in and pick that up and carry it over the stove if I can. But just take the rope off if you can. It'll be a tight knot though. Yeah, I think that's enough cleanup for today. It'll be just the. I want to do it when the ground's frozen. It's going to warm up here. I think it'll be a big slop hole here if I oh, yeah. try and do another one. Maybe we'll do another one that's frozen some other morning. But and thanks for the help. Cause I didn't. I didn't know I tied up myself. It was going to have a bad lean to, to the shed. So yeah. I don't think I could have got down by myself that one. It's yeah. labor in the ground there. <gasps> what a mess! What a mess! Oh, I think I'll just uh, unhook this, cut it in a big chunk, pick it up, carry it over to the stove. It'll all get burned. There's, there's maybe a couple of lugs in it like I saw, but well, I don't think it's rotten. But there's a few boards. I might cut two eight. I'm able to cut two eight-foot logs out of that, and then right. mill them into something. There's a little bit of. It's not. It's, it's swamp ash. It's got the brown heart in it. I'm gonna cut a eight-foot board. That's it. Now the cleanup starts. I got Mike Pernick's uh, trailer light going by. It broke that, so that's another thing to fix. What a mess. Yeah, it would have come down the shed. The wind, windy night. The night, windy nights are scaring me. All the those two make me nervous too. They got to come down next, but got to move her clothesline, and I got to get them down. But I want to do one at a time. Do you want to clean up here? Choose my lawn up now. Thaws. Look at that. More shit to fix. Oh well. Unbelievable. The crap that comes out of there. All because of one little bug. Well, I guess I'll buck up a couple of those things and then. Oh, the pussy willows are out. Look at that. Pretty early for that. Ah, that's pretty well it. How many of these have you cut up? Like ashes in the, in the recent past. Oh god. 
probably 25 of them off my lawn. There's another 25 to go or more. That's all because of China and their bug. They just infested every ash tree in the land. I hope there's 10,000 bugs in that thing that cook them now, the buggers.